Today is the day, the start of, without a doubt, our most complicated and difficult and chaotic border crossing to date. This one doesn't happen in one day or two. This one takes several days and it starts this morning. All right, guys, full on major border prep underway. Like I've already told y'all, this isn't one that's gonna take just today. This is gonna spread out over several days. The first thing we are doing this morning is we have got to get ready to move out of the van and into our Airbnb, which means I had to pack up everything we'll need, kind of like packing to go on a two week vacation, which is weird because We've lived in our van for, you know, over two years and you get pretty used to, no matter where you're at, always having everything accessible. So deciding what to take and what to leave in the van, it's harder than just packing like we used to for normal vacations. But I'll figure that out, don't worry. The other thing we gotta do is we gotta get up into the attic and pull down one of our Pelican cases, our big storage boxes up there, cause that's what we're gonna use for a suitcase and we have to get our spare uh, smaller litter box down because we have to move a litter box into the Airbnb. So that's what we're about to do. Then we have to find somewhere to safely drain the shower and dry out the filters because we don't need any water sitting in our system for two weeks while we're not in the van. So that's what's going on now. Then we'll move into the Airbnb. So when you're going on a normal vacation, you normally have a hotel reservation, a flight, or a rental car, and you have specific dates. Something we've learned about the shipping industry is they will not guarantee your shipping date till like two days before. And there is a lot of prep work we have to do with customs and inspections and stuff like that. So there's a lot of hurry up, be ready, and wait for them to tell you when to show up at the port. It's a little bit frustrating and what we have learned, in fact I have learned way more about shipping than I really ever wanted to know, is that over the past decade or so, until the past year, the shipping industry was struggling like financially and a lot of the big worldwide international shipping companies actually went bankrupt and shut down. So there weren't a lot of shipping agencies and what has happened now is COVID has hit and and the delivery, you know, mixed in with Amazon already blowing up, COVID made it blow up every, even more, and there's tons of international shipping with not enough ships to carry them. Another thing that has made that even worse is because they were in such financial problems for almost a decade, all of the ships are old and worn down, some of them have been retired, and the shipping companies have not been ordering new ships. So there is a lot of stuff being shipped a shortage of ships and it's just making it even harder to know when our ship is actually going to show up in the port and another thing it has done is it has literally doubled the cost of shipping when we were budgeting and planning our trip this shipping from panama to columbia should have cost around 1500 to 2000 dollars and that was ballpark but that's what we were we were learning in our research it's going to cost over four thousand dollars so the shipping budget is blown which really kind of sucks guys but it's the only way to get to south america we are 90 percent moved into our airbnb we will be here for nine or ten days this is it it is in old town so it's in a cool little historical district and it's an old building that they've done some work on it's got a nice shower nice bathroom of course we always have to bring a litter box with us got a little balcony out here that just overlooks some of the neighboring buildings but there's a rooftop that's supposed to be pretty nice the only thing that we have found that is wrong so far is there's no blanket on the bed so we got to track down a blanket but the kitties have explored a little bit they're settled in We've put our groceries away. Kurt found a parking spot, which from what I understand, how'd that go, Kurt? Not good, it was really difficult. There's just not a lot of parking down here. This whole place is under renovation, so the construction workers are taking a lot of parking. And also some of the new buildings are just corded, or the parking is corded off. So it was tough, but we found the place, $25 a night, yeah. it'll work for tonight, and we'll figure something else out tomorrow. There we go, sounds good. Full-size refrigerator. 
in a kitchen counter twice the size of ours. <laughs> we even have a microwave, guys. Luxurious living. <laughs> but we still only have one burner, so we're doing one pot cooking. Kurt is whipping us up a big old thing of spaghetti because for the first time in a long, long time, we can have leftovers because we got the microwave. Right, Curdy? Yep. So our first night in the Airbnb, we were preparing to have leftovers. Yeah. Food for a week. <laughs> Day one of van prep to put the van ROR, roll on, roll off on the ship. If we haven't explained that yet, I'll explain it to you. But I gotta tell you, for the last three or four weeks here in Panama has been really nervous for me. I haven't talked to you guys about it, but this is a big thing in terms of turning over our van, giving somebody else the keys, and leaving it on a ship, and then having somebody else take the keys and drive it off. There are horror stories of stuff missing, and you guys know we have a lot of technology and a lot of stuff in that van. So, it's really been a nervous period for me. But today we're headed over there to see if we can figure out how to secure it up. So hopefully we don't have anything stolen from our van while we're shipping it to South America. So I'm in my Uber and we're headed back. We dropped off the van, headed here through Panama City. It's a really cool city to be honest with you and whether America's cities are the benchmark or not, it is a lot like American City. In my opinion, the coolest city we've been to in Central America. But anyway, we got the prices back for the van. They, the Vibes of Panama, are gonna build a security wall for $250. And then our paint has been taking a beating from the sun, the salt, getting scratched up from some of the crazy roads we go on so we're gonna have the thing triple buffed with a polymer or some sort of stuff to help the life of the van they're gonna do some touch-ups on a couple of spots that have been scratched uh, with a little you know and have a little rust and stuff so it's gonna be a nice outside cleanup of the van it's gonna give us a couple more years on that and so we're gonna have that done and that's $500. So a little bit pricey, honestly, didn't have it worked in the budget, but after talking, talking to them and doing some research, it's something we definitely needed to do in terms of maintenance for the van. So anyway, we're headed past this big, huge mall in downtown. We're getting close to over where our apartments are, which are over in sort of the historic district. We did look at an apartment down here and we found one that we really liked. It just didn't seem like the parking situation was as safe at the time. However, our parking, parking situation is brutal where we are now. So it may not have been such a bad option. But anyway, this is a nice little area. I definitely would have liked to check it out. But we're going to go back over here and see what Snow and the kitties are up to on this little island over here in Old Town. All right, yesterday, Kurt dropped the van off at the shop where they're going to get the van ready to go on the ship. They're going to build a wall between the cab and the house part of the van so the drivers at Customs can't get into the back of the van. This morning, we just walked out, walked out of our apartment. We're going to go check on the van. All right, guys, this is where we left the van yesterday. So let's go in and take a look. So when you leave your van at the port, you have to leave them your keys because someone will literally drive our van onto the ship. And then it's just kind of sitting there on the ship and then it sits in customs on the other side. So, you don't want the person that has the keys to be able to get into the back of the van. That's when the theft happens. So we're building that wall now. These guys are doing awesome. We have some special locks, little hockey puck locks that will go on the outside of the slider door and the back door. 
So hopefully we're safing her up pretty good. Yeah. You guys did a little overlanding tour yourselves. Yeah. And so how long was that and where'd you go? Well, we left uh, Panama with a dream of going to Alaska to, yeah. the, to go see the Northern Lights, to go see the Arctic Circle, to explore a bit more. Um, so we left in July 2019. Um, it took us around 16 months to complete our journey. Um, you know, we got to go through COVID and, you know, the whole panic situation. Oh, you were in the U.S. when COVID struck? Yeah, we, we crossed the border uh, from Tijuana mm -hmm. and two days later, the world stopped. Yeah. So it was kind of weird to adapt to from, you know, traveling as, as free as we were, all of us, uh, in the past. And then, you know, just crashing into a different culture, a different language. A different world. It was it was kind of complicated at, at the you know at the very first stages of, of our trip in in the U.S. But then you know all the people that we got uh, to help us that was really nice. So thank you everyone. Now Alejandro has a different ride than a van. Yeah. It's an overlanding vehicle. It is super cool. Hopefully we'll get to show you guys that. But. This place right here is called the Overlanders Embassy. Is yeah, that yeah, what the name the, is? The, and how'd you get the inspiration for that? I tried to help as many travelers as I could in the past, uh, even even before doing my own trip, because I was using uh, I was using them in a way to get inspired, to get uh, you know information, to get you know tips and all that. How to how to accomplish a you know, a lifelong dream of traveling in a car and driving around, exploring and all that. So um, I did that for many years. Um, I was born in Venezuela and we moved to Panama around 12 years ago. So in, in that time, what helped me to adapt to this country was to travel, to drive around, to just uh, go explore, go find new, new places to go surfing or, you know, get deep into the jungle, get stuck in the mud and all that. <laughs> so I enjoy that and that's why uh, I got so uh, I got this deep connection with Panama. Uh, that's why my project started as Vibes of Panama um, because I wanted to share what uh, what this amazing co country has to offer for people that's not from here. You know, um, we we take some stuff for granted uh, when you're a local, but then when you start exploring your own place, it's like, whoa, this is actually amazing. <laughs> um, so that's uh, the base or the platform where. Pipes of Panama started wanting to share the, how amazing this country is and what we have to offer. So by doing that, I got many people texting or, or, or calling like, hey man, I'm going to Panama, what should I do? Or I'm traveling from Germany and, and uh, I need help to get my car uh, to Colombia or, you know, where should I re fix my car? I have a problem in the car and all that. So everything went coming along in a way. And throughout our journey, we got so many people to help us. So many uh, amazing people that offer us a shower or offer us a uh, fix our car. I don't know, just uh, you know, giving us heads up in the logistics of going to Alaska, for example. It, it was so amazing the experience that I felt like, yeah, I was maybe receiving a bit of what I gave before or I was just returning what I received in the past, I don't know, it was super weird. Maybe like you wanted to be part of that community, it's an awesome community, I mean, yeah. that's been our experience for two years for sure. And, and it was so nice that in, now that I'm, we're back and we're planning on doing more travel in the future, but while we're in Panama, we, we decided we needed to share our experience and share everything we can to help other travelers while they're, you know, fulfilling their dream and, and driving around. Yeah. Um, either you drive a motorcycle, a bike, a super incredible van like yours, or uh, a small rig, it doesn't matter. Uh, I think we all have this uh, spirit of adventure within us, and that's what's important. So any anyone, it's welcome to the Overland Embassy. You know? Yeah, so he's on iOverlander, so the uh, Vibes of Panama, the Overlanding Embassy. So here at the Overlanding Embassy, we talked a little bit about it, but what are some of the things that the services that you guys can do in-house and here that might help overlanders or really anybody? Yeah, well, um, as you asked yesterday, my profession is a solution supplier. So this place, uh, we, we try to design a system where we can 
provide any solution, um, either body work at your car or vehicle, um, wood, uh, if you need to do uh, repairs on the, on the wood inside of your, if you have furniture, if you have uh, cabinets and all that, we can fix or we can design and create something custom made for you. Um, we also do mechanic work if you need, we can help with the logistics of shipping in or out of Panama. Um, we also restore vehicles that are going, classic vehicles that are going to the US for now. Um, so also if you're interested in, in getting a cool rig, 25 years older, um, you know, we, we can get uh, cool Land Cruisers, Land Rover Defenders. Uh, and so you find them and then you can either send them up like that or you can build them out here and send them out, build them up, build them out exactly. to their specs. We, we can do that and, and we're... I gotta tell you guys, as somebody who's been traveling in the van, Snow and I, for two years now, around the U.S. and Central America, we're you know, we find ourselves when something breaks or whatever, wondering where to go to get something fixed, where to get a resource or a part. Yeah. And I feel like this is kind of the first place along the way where you can come to. And if they don't do it or they don't have it, they can find it for you or point you in the right direction. This is a great resource. And since Panama is where we ship to South America, yeah. it is very strategically located so we can get all this stuff done before we got to put the van on a boat. So it's really huge. Yeah, yeah. and we can, we can help the logistics of sharing a container, for example. Um, because either you're coming from North or you're coming from South America, um, we can prepare your car here and get it ready for you to start traveling to Panam or to one way or the other. Um, we can pre-build your truck. We can, you know, literally make a dream come true <laughs> in a way, um, in an overlanding way, and uh, just feel free to, to stay. Also, um, if if needed, we can provide a place to stay um, in your in your vehicle within our, our warehouse. Um, I mean, just just name it. It will do it. So not only does Alejandro pro provide solutions. He also makes your dreams come true. Yeah. All right. Like that. <laughs> that is some good vibes of Panama. <laughs> so if I'm being honest with you guys, I think I've told you, we've been really nervous for the last, really month, since we got in Panama, stressing about the shipping in this process. And to be honest with you, these guys have really helped me to calm my nerves. We're building a siloed wall. I was also concerned about some spots on the van. Premature rust is always, I'm sure, a concern for us in these vans. And so they're gonna clean it up, polish it up, so I'm excited about that. So basically, we've turned our lemons into lemonade, turned that frown upside down. The comfort level is going up as we speak. Yes, it is. And we're getting closer and closer to getting ready to ship. Time to go to South America, baby. <laughs> All right, so we walked right around the corner from our cool little Airbnb. And we're gonna try out this Mexican restaurant. See if it's any good. Hola. What are you thinking about getting, Kurt? I've got it narrowed down to three choices and they're using like these big marketing terms that are twisting me up. So they got carnitas, Trace chiles, but these are their signature tacos. But then right below that, they got the fish tacos, which are world famous signature oh, tacos. You like fish, Kurt. And you I like, like fish. fish. And we're right by the fish market. And then down here, they have the pastel azteca. That's what I'm getting. Which is basically like a chicken taco pie. So. With tomatillo sauce. Now, it doesn't have the fancy, fancy language or the pink box around it. So, I don't know. I haven't decided. It's going to be probably a last second decision. All right. So, this is a cute little place with a little patio set up out on the street. Hoping it's good, guys. All right, it's getting dark, guys, but here's my dinner. Oh, Kurt's putting some light on the situation. So, there's his fish tacos. Look at those things. Those look delicious. A little panko covered uh -huh. with some... Sriracha coleslaw, looks good. All right, bring that light over here. Let's let them see mine. Look oh, at this. Tasty. Yes, looking good, guys.
right, so we're in the Uber, headed across town to the Overlander Embassy to pick up our van that is gonna have the security wall built between the driving area and the house area. Super excited to see how they did. Yeah, they also cleaned up the van and I think there's a surprise for us. I think they cleaned up some of the rusty bolts on the oh. attic or whatever, cleaned it up, some other surprises. So I'm excited to see it, but I think it's gonna be super clean. Yeah, and shiny, cause we did that buff out for all the little nicks and scrapes. So we're excited to go see our van. There's our wall. So the custom drivers will not be able to get to the house part of our van. All they'll be able to do is drive it. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, look at that, guys. There they are, the heroes right there. Woo! Uh, so <laughs> and cleaner. Yeah, it's so clean. Look at this, guys. It is so, so shiny. They cleaned up all the black parts. The tires are clean. We buffed out and re-polished it. We had a pretty good ding somewhere back here. And, oh no, it's over here. So shiny, guys. There it is. There's our really good ding. But they touched it up nice. It's like a brand new van. And they're putting the finishing touches on it right now. Woohoo! Look at how shiny it is, everybody. In case you can't tell, we're happy. All right, guys, we are back in the van. I am so excited with how that all turned out. Um, uh, don't forget, you can find the Overlander Embassy if you're trying to make this journey on iOverlander and on Instagram at Vibes of Panama. But now we're on to our next task of the day, which means we have to go pick up the kitty cats from the Airbnb. It's time for their vet visit. You gotta go to the vet every time you wanna cross a border. This time, it's no different. So, let's go get them. All right, guys, this literally breaks my heart, but because we have where you can't access the back of the van, these guys have to ride in their carriers all the way to the vet. And of course, they don't like that. I don't like that they don't like it, but we also need to get them where they're gonna be okay in these things for three hours on the airplane. So, oh, this is gonna be a tough one, guys. But Kurt had to go make sure he locked the door. We're parked right here on the outside of our Airbnb with our hazards going. The next stop is Andy's Pets, the vet. And the good news is they speak really good English and they're very familiar with the paperwork we need to do. I know, buddy. So let's go get these guys checked out. As we are at the vet, the vet has already came in and take a look at the paperwork. She's super nice. I'm gonna get this guy checked out and then it'll be Vanna's turn. And it's going really good. I always clip the kitty's claws, but we're getting it professionally done. And she is not happy. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. All right, guys, it's Vanna's turn. She's getting a little claw clipping. And then she'll get her medicine and then we can get these guys back to their house. All right, guys, it has been a whirlwind of a few days moving into this Airbnb, starting the process of getting the van ready to go to Columbia. And then today starting the paperwork process to get the kitty cats okay to go to Columbia. And we're just getting started. But tomorrow morning starts the really hectic part where the customs and the immigration starts. But we're gonna wind this video down right here and we're gonna see you in a few days on our YouTube channel where we show you how the rest of this process goes. So don't forget to follow us over on Instagram so you can see what's going on in between videos. We'll see you guys in a few days. Cheers. It's almost time to go to Columbia. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys!